Hello everyone, welcome to another Freestyle Comic Reviews. I'm Scott. And I'm Clint. And this week we're talking about the new 52 graphic novel, Suicide Squad, number two. That's the one. That's Rising, name of the new 52's Suicide Squad, part two. Written by Adam Glass and art by Fre Fernando Dagnino. All right, and the plot to this one is pretty much a lot of Corey rejoins the team after uh, Super Vagina. She's still hot. Yeah, they had to fight some sort of super undying dude in one of the first missions. It was like fighting Jesus. And after that, they pretty much go after uh, the serpent uh, society of I kind of don't care about King Cobra. <laughs> and King Cobra's like henchman Rickus. Rickus. We're talking about things that we like in it, and for me, I really like that they were able to work Harley Quinn back into the story, even though it's a little crazy. But yeah, it'd be hard seeing the book without her. Yeah, it's yeah, she was one of my favorite characters from the first one, even though she's some really crazy shit at the end of the first one. It makes you think, oh, this bitch is gone. But yeah, they're just like, fuck it, get back on the team. Who cares? Yeah, and then other than that, there was this really cool like. There's a traitor on the team, and it was like, who is he? You're never going to find out, and you find out, and you're like, what? But it's not that great. Yeah, and for me, I guess, uh, you know, of course, the whole team was, uh, whenever they were doing stuff, particularly like Deadshot and stuff. Yeah, I really Keith enjoyed the team. Harley Quinn, all those characters who were uh, fun to have on the team. And stuff yeah, like definitely, that. they meld well together. Yeah, and also, uh, pretty early on, like, one of the first missions they do is fight Jesus. Yeah, he, like, can't die, has all these, like, weird powers and stuff like, like that. Ridiculous. Yeah, it sounded like he was kind of from another comic. I don't know if I would read that other comic, because it doesn't seem like anything would have bothered him whatsoever. Yeah, they also had, like, it was kind of like they did, like, some stupid crossover thing. Yeah. I didn't like, really like it. There was, like, a bunch of characters I didn't know about. Also trying to capture him on a separate team. Yeah. This is the part of the review where we talk, talk about things we didn't like, and for me, I didn't really like, I thought the uh, overall bad guy, Regulus, and this Cobra dudes was kind of lame, and I really cared about them, or whatever. Yeah, King Cobra wasn't that great. Yeah. He didn't have, like, a cool look. He kind of was just like, oh, I'm just really big and strong, and I guess mental power kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah he had, like, illusion shit or something. Yeah, it was, like, real forgetful and stuff. Yeah, the fight was only, like, two pages or something like that. Yeah, and then, uh, you know, also I didn't like, uh, the whole... Black Spider being the traitor, and it kind of didn't make sense anyway, because, like, ha they had the whole team, you know, be sleeper agents, but for some reason, Black Spider wasn't. He was, like, in league with them or whatever. Yeah. For me, I didn't like that they brought Yo-Yo back. Uh, he, maybe not dead, but they didn't, I don't feel like they needed it. It's like, they brought him back for, like, one page, and it's like, oh, so you're invincible. We were just testing that. And it's like, well, what the... And he's what? all like, thank you. Oh, thanks for showing me how, you know, impervious this shit. My face is still fucking Freddy Krueger. Yeah, it's though. melted. But, um, yeah, and that kind of leads me to the next thing where it just kind of flew off the rails. Like, they didn't, it seemed like they were just trying to do, like, a lot of cool stuff, but they didn't know how to fit it all in there. And then, like, like I think they were trying to do their crossover, so that stuff just kind of got jammed in there also. I don't know. It didn't feel as, um, as, like, uh, streamlined as the first one. Yeah, like I felt like they had a little better idea about where they were going in the first one. Yeah. As well as this one kind of, you know, lost control. That brings us to our favorite moments. And for me, it was just a little moment where they were on a plane, and the plane was crashing, and there was an explosion, and El Diablo, like, absorbed it. And then they were all having to jump out because there wasn't enough parachutes, and Deadshot just runs up and kicks King Shark out the back, and everyone's like, I don't know if he's going to survive that fall. And Deadshot's just like, we're going to find out. And what would you say? Uh, mine was uh, after the uh, almost everybody but Harley Quinn and Deadshot were taking control and turning the sleeper agents. Deadshot oh, yeah. just cuts off uh, the ice guy's hand and shit. Try and wake him up. Yeah. And snap him out of it. <laughs> that was pretty funny. Yeah, it's pretty good. Um, other than that, I would say read this book, right? What would you say? Uh, yeah, I guess so. Like, um, I would, well, hopefully you like get the better. One. Yeah, yeah, then you might enjoy this one. I didn't enjoy it as much, though. Yeah, I'd probably say it wasn't as good. But, um... I guess other than that, I'm Scott. And I'm Clint. And have a good day.